This video from Gold Medal Products will show you how to make the hot new midway item Saratoga Swirls. The 5280M Spiral Slicer ships with the curly fry blade attached and the stop assembly attached. First, we are going to remove the curly fly blade. Then, we are going to remove the stop assembly. You don't need to worry about the spike assembly hitting your blades. We've installed a set collar on one of the guide arms to stop the spike assembly from pushing into the blades. Next, we are going to attach the thin shaving blade. There will be a T carved into the blade, identifying this as the thin blade. When installing the thin blade, place it into the two holes, pull the blade up and to the left when facing the machine, and tighten. Now for the potato. We recommend cutting a small piece off each end of the potato. This will allow the potato to stick to the spike assembly and provide a smooth cut. Next, take the potato punch and carefully punch a hole into the center of the potato. This will allow your skewer to easily push through the potato. Then, insert your wood skewer, preferably an 18 by 3 16 or 18 by quarter inch stick and allow two to three inches to push through. Place the flat end of the skewer through the horseshoe shaped cutout located next to the blade. Place the pointed side of the stick into the hole in the center of the spike assembly. Then push the potato onto the spike assembly. Be sure not to place it in one of the holes where the curly fry blade was attached. Position the potato about two inches from the blade. Push the two red buttons to start the motor and gently push the potato up against the blade. The slower you push, the thinner the cut. The harder you push, the thicker the cut. Take the top one or two layers and place it over the wood tip to hold the potato in place. Gently slide the potato down, spreading it out. Make sure your oil in your fryer is set at about 385 degrees. Using 12 inch tongs, gently place in the fryer. After one minute, roll the potato over for even cooking. For consistency of a french fry, cook it for about two minutes. If you would like a crisper, more potato chip like product, about two minutes and 30 seconds. Take it out of the oil, allow the excess oil to drip off. Then you can sprinkle your favorite savory flavor and enjoy.